guys, how are you? It's Bricks Nostadio here and I just finished my latest Arduino project so I wanted uh, to go through it with you today. Um, the project consists in uh, uh, building this uh, RC um, car, Lego Technic car uh, controlled by Arduino. It took me quite a lot of work, quite a lot of time uh, to put it together as uh, I've been very busy doing other stuff over these uh, last few weeks but uh, here it is so um, this is what came out of it and uh, we're gonna go through it now um, very very quickly uh, I'm gonna be splitting this video in uh, two parts uh, the very first one uh, in the very first one I'm just going to be uh, giving you a overview of the structure of uh, of the build and then in the second part we're gonna go through uh, the Arduino um, sketch the controls the whole thing okay first of all um, this build um, comes from uh, the picture that you see here in this book it's a modified version um, of this picture that you see in this book that comes from this 8888 um, Lego Vintage idea book from 1980. I started, I built this build first and then I just modified it uh, what needed in order to <coughs> for it to suit my needs when I was building the, the whole thing around it. Um, we're gonna, um, as, as you can see, it's a pretty big one. I'm just gonna put very briefly a mini thing here just to. Give a sense of scale as you can see it's a pretty huge build and now we're gonna go through um, very briefly the front middle and back section where I'm gonna show where, uh, where I show you where things are we're gonna start with the front um, if uh, we open up here this front panel what you can find is already a couple um, the two motors that control the the whole thing here we have uh, uh, the motor the uh, it's an XL motor that controls uh, the back wheels and then um, allows the car to move back and forward while if you have a look over here in the middle what you can see here is the servo motor that is connected to this axle here and then controls this rack and allows the um, front wheels to move uh, right and left. You can see very easily this servo motor here because it's um, there is a whole structure around it made with bricks that keeps it firm uh, in place so it's quite well hidden. Um, let's move uh, to the middle section here where briefly you can see that there is the battery pack uh, that powers up um, the the motor that I just show you um, very briefly here you can see that the motor here is on the front but it's connected to the back wheels through this whole axle here and through this uh, set of gears that will allow the, <coughs> the wheels to turn um, back and forward okay there is uh, the most interesting part of the build is here on the back um, I just built this panel very quickly, that's why it doesn't look very nice, it's just I didn't bother about uh, um, making it that good. Um, if we lift this panel like this, and uh, just for the sake of the review of I'm just gonna get rid of it just to be more comfortable with moving the build. What you can find here is uh, all the electronic part that controls everything. Um, here on top, just laying on top of uh, a brick panel, uh, you can find uh, uh, the three electronic components that control the whole thing, which is uh, the Arduino Mega here on the front, with uh, another fret mortar shield uh, plugged on top. And then here, what you can see here is the board is the the little board the Bluetooth board that controls the wireless communication okay I just packed the whole thing up over here you know to try to save space um, as you can see here there is the battery pack that controls um, the 
front motor that controls the back wheel. If you lift up this panel here, well, you can find use um, the battery pack that controls the Arduino board uh, uh, when uh, um, when you need to run the car. Okay, and just put this little, just build this little panel out around it, so it's pretty easy access in case you want to take it out and use it for other purposes okay then there is some wiring around here that controls the um, from motor servo motor and um, is here as well the battery pack that, con that helps to connect the whole thing together okay so um, you already saw this uh, running at the beginning of the video now we're gonna move to the code okay guys so here we are with the code I'm gonna show you the code now and then I'm gonna show you a very brief demonstration with my tablet later so in case there's something you're not gonna understand uh, now just make sure you watch uh, the demonstration later and everything we should be clear at that point okay the application I will be using is uh, Blue Control 2.0 that you can easily find uh, on Google Play so let's get to the code very f uh, first of all we're gonna include the libraries the one related to the servo and the one related uh, to the motor shield so af motor stands for other fruit motor shield then we're going to declare uh, two variables the the one related to the dc motor and the one to the servo then we move to the setup void the setup where we are gonna um, uh, we're going to declare the parameters and the conditions uh, at which we want the system to be once we power it up okay so we want we're going to set the speed of the dc motor in this line which is going to be in my case 170 now um it's digital output so it goes from 0 to 255 i could have put 255 but the car at the point would have been running uh, too fast so I prefer to lower it down to 170, but that's your choice. Uh, with the second line, we're just going to declare that we want the motor to be off um, when we power up the system. Uh, here we declare the pin to which uh, the servo is uh, attached. And here um, we declare at which angle we want the servo to be at the starting time. Now, here it's a bit of an unusual number. It's 70 and 70 degrees and the reason for it is just more uh, practical than anything else is just due to the fact that when I put when I built the car and put the servo into it I couldn't um, <coughs> uh, insert it in a way to make it naturally to 90 degrees I would say uh, the servo turned out to be um, a bit um, turned to a uh, to certain direction so what turned out to be the center at that point had to be um, uh, found out manually and for me in my case turned out to be 70 degrees but yeah obviously if you want to reproduce the project it might be a bit different for you um, with this last line here we started the serial connection uh, between the Arduino and uh, the Bluetooth uh, uh, card. Um, one thing I wanted to point out here is just that here it's serial one begin and not serial because I'm using an Arduino Mega and uh, the pins uh, that I'm using for the transmission are TX1 and RX1. If I was using an Arduino Uno um in this case it would in that case it would have been serial begin and not serial one okay so just pointing out uh, 12 in order to avoid uh, confusion so let's move uh, to the loop which is the main code that is run repeatedly and with this line here um, we are gonna declare that if uh, with the serial lines here we're gonna declare that if um, we receive uh, some data at that point we are gonna um, declare a variable uh, of character type called data and this will equal to the reading um, that is uh, received by the Bluetooth module at this point what we are gonna do is uh, 
uh, to build a state machine using the switch and in case commands and um, and then we are gonna um, write down a whole list of various um, possibilities um, of the various um, options that we want to have once we receive the signal so um, the very first one is case R that stands for write and in this case we are gonna impose to the servo to turn uh, to the right and uh, we're gonna set always uh, for practical reasons based on uh, how the structure of the car is we're going to impose the test to 160 degrees and we also we're going to impose there's going to be a delay of 15 milliseconds and uh, the reason for it is just to give time to the servo to reach uh, this position then we are going to move uh, to the case L which is exactly the same as the one above uh, but just in this case uh, the front wheels are going to turn to the left then case C, uh, which is related to the center, to when you want to put the wheels, the front wheels back to center position. So here we have again this 70 number, it is the same that we um, set uh, in the void setup. And then we have the last three cases that are related uh, to the DC motor. Uh, case U stands for up and uh, is related to the um, car moving forward uh, this up um, you're gonna understand what this means only in a minute once we're gonna uh, go through the demonstration with the application it's just that this U character is related to an arrow the points up so um, um, so this is the reason why there is this association and in this case we are going to impose uh, that the motor is going to run forward the DC motor runs forward uh, we do the same uh, as uh, before um, for the case D that stands for arrow down and then motor running backwards and then case A uh, which is that once uh, we put this input we want uh, to power off the system and then impose that the motor the DC motor uh, stops okay so we're just gonna you're gonna see um, um, all these cases in just a few seconds once I show you the demonstration with the, with the application uh, with the tablet application and here we just this last line we just impose a delay of 50 milliseconds just to impose that the um, the program is repeated the cycle is repeated uh, with this uh, frequency okay so that's it let's move to the application okay guys so as a conclusion i just wanted to see to show you um the program the program in action with the application so this is the blue control application that i downloaded on my tablet and now i'm just gonna press the various buttons related to the program that will um, make uh, things work so I'm gonna start pressing the up arrow and what you can see is that the the wheel is moving forward now I'm gonna press the down arrow is gonna move backwards now if I press the A button the power will be off and if uh, I press the right center and the left arrow I will have the the front wheels moving to the right or to the left um, the, um, the wheels the two sets of wheels can work at the same time so simultaneously so I'm gonna press uh, the up arrow to get the car to run forward and then while this still will still be running I can get the, the front wheels to go as you can see and I think pretty much that's it okay guys so that's it thank you very much guys don't forget to rate comment and subscribe and uh, if you have any questions I will feel free to comment down in the comment section and I will do my best to uh, thank you very much, bye bye